What is going on? Welcome back to Cart 6T3. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming back and uh, checking out another one of my videos. If you didn't mind hitting that like button, uh, maybe subscribing to the channel if you like this content. I'm trying to get as many videos done as possible before it gets cold and snowy here in New York. So uh, this happens to be Halloween today. <laughs> so you'll probably see this next week. Uh, I'll set it. I'm, I'm trying to do every Sunday. Uh, eventually I'm going to have to stop uh, because of the weather out here in New York, but it is okay. We are going to talk about some tires today. Uh, and there is no way in God's green earth I can get, e I can even touch <laughs> on the subject of tires in one video. So I thought this would be a great time. Um, maybe you're new to karting, maybe you're getting in, you, you see people using tire prep. Uh, you hear about people using internal tire prep, and I thought I would just give you a, a quick once over on how I go about prepping the inside of my tires uh, before I put them on the rotisserie. So th that's first things first. If you're gonna prep inside your tires, you need some sort of hot box. You need some sort of tire roller, a slow rotisserie, whether you build your own. I probably can do, I can take my one off the wall here and make a video in generalization of how I built my very own tire roller. We can go into that or you can go and get yourself, I have a KKP hot box uh, that can be used just as a tire roller or with heat. Uh, they're on the expensive side, but they are nothing but quality. So I'll probably do another video down the line on those, but your to internal prep, you're going to need some sort of rotisserie. You're gonna to need to rotisserate your, rotisserate? That's right. Rotisserate your tires for at least 12 to 24 hours, uh, depending on what you wanna do. So, uh, right here, have a, uh, this is a left rear. Uh, this is a Burris tire, 33. Uh, I'm using a 33 and a Burris just because it's what I grabbed. I typically don't internal prep Burris. Uh, you can. And if you do, I prefer to go very, very light. Uh, I just, I think burrs work better without internal prep. Do all your uh, external prep from the outside and they don't need a ton, just something to fire them off. The tracks that really love burrs tires don't like, uh, you know, a, an aggressive type of prep on them, in, or at least internally. Uh, they don't like a ton of stuff. They just, they need the tire to fire off and work well, in my opinion. So um, for this action, uh, we're not going to put anything in today. I'm not actually going to do it because, like I said, I don't typically internalize prep a Burris. But uh, Track Tech uh, tire treatments is what I use. Um, there are a ton of different, uh, and a ton of different uh, preps out there on the market. Make your decision and stick with it. Uh, keeping up with the Joneses, oh, this new tire prep came out, this new tire prep up. Just if you're, you pick a reputable dealer like TrackTac, like, like any of them, and stick with a program, learn the prep, learn what it does to your tires first and foremost, what works uh, well inside the tire, what works well on the outside of the tire, and please stick with it. Uh, the bouncing all, all over the place, uh, you may get some initial results, but knowledge about your tire prep system is gonna be better than just what's hot at the time. So like I said, I choose TrackTac. I've been running TrackTac since, uh, I don't know, 07. Uh, I've met the owner, Randy. Uh, Chris Harris is also a phenomenal dude, uh, willing to help anybody at any time. And they have a plethora of tire preps for any different type of track situation. So uh, you got your, your, your tires. You got your rotisserie of some sort, hot box, regular rotisserie. How do you get prep on the inside of this bad boy? Well, <laughs> first things first, you need a valve stem core uh, tool. Uh, you can get these anywhere, Walmart, wherever, uh, Napa, anywhere like that. And you're going to want to remove the internal core from your tire. Take that out. That's what that looks like right there. Okay, you're gonna obviously keep this, don't chuck that. You're gonna need it. Now there's two, uh, or there's multiple different ways. There are cart specific um, ways to uh, measure your amount and inject it in the tire. I have found two ways that work really well for me. Uh, I got this, I think it was a Walmart, it's just in the grill section. So this comes like this. 
It gives you ounces. Uh, some people do it in CCs. I prefer ounces. Uh, either or works. Just remain consistent on what you're gonna put in whatever tire. So something like this. This is my uh, this is my piece of uh, hose that is specifically for prepping tires. Just so I'm not grabbing a new piece every time. I put a little piece of tape on it just so I know this one. You can uh, you know uh, put this. Put your hose as I get on video and I can't do it. Maybe it was the other end I did it with. I just did this right off the camera. <laughs> anyway, you fit that over top of there, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna, uh, you wanna take some of the air out, so you, got, you gotta give it room, okay? And then what you're gonna wanna do is, it fell off. Um, you're gonna wanna put the hose over top of your valve stem, and then you would plunger your amount into the tire. And that's your, your measuring them out. The other way, the way I've been doing it for years, is you put the hose on your tire stem, just like so, okay? Then you take some sort of measurement cup. I happen to work in a body shop. We have a ton of these, uh, you know, used ones left over. I have gotten them from the body shop. It shows ounces. So whatever mixture, if I'm doing a blend, if I'm doing just a standard, you know, what, whatever, if I'm putting SAA, just... Uh, purely this in here I pour the amount I want in there what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to depress the tire okay like so I'm sure I'm hitting the mic I'm sorry but that creates a vacuum inside the tire then you take the hose with your your liquid amount in there put it down the bottom and then release and it will suck up all the liquid that's in the cup there you go that's it Take, your, uh, take that off, make sure it all goes in, pop your hose back off, make your, uh, your tire stem, put that back in, screw it back on, put it on your, put a little bit of air in it because you don't want to run the thing to run flat, you know, maybe you want to set your, uh, if you're not running heat, that is. Um, just, I, I prefer just to put a little bit, a couple pounds of air in it, just so it's not deflated and, you know, it's going to cause an issue with rotation of the tire inside the hotbox or on the rotisserie. Um, if you're running a hotbox, you want to be very careful not to uh, put too much tire pressure in there to where you're going to grow or shrink your tire. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Nice quick video. Um, internal tire prep is not that difficult to do. Uh and hopefully this gives you a better understanding. Like I said, most of these videos are going to be for new people coming in, people who have never internalized, uh, you know, prep or done this or that. It's just your basics of kart racing. I, I figured if I've taken 20 years of racing carts, uh, maybe I can help a little bit with the knowledge, somebody new coming in and, uh, you know, help you be faster, give you an idea of what some other people are doing if you've ever had that question. So, um, I guess that's it for today's video. I appreciate you swinging by again. Again, if you didn't mind a like, a subscribe, any of that stuff helps the channel grow. You know, uh, share it if you want. <laughs> if uh, my my antics are not too much for you, I think it's valuable to somebody else, you could share it out there. So I, I really appreciate guys and uh, happy go-kart. Catch you later.